Hey friends, in this series I've been talking about the Dana 60 wheel ends overall. Been talking about the Dana 60 spindle, similarity of bearings with the hub, 70 rear hub and 80 rear hub, how they take the same bearings. I've talked about upgrading the spindle, getting away from the cage needle bearing, of course, the real badass bronze bushings. Now what I wanted to talk about was uh, I wanted to talk about the unit bearing, the Ford unit bearing, first generation, basically used about 99 through 2004. So we do a lot of work to these. This is what we have to do for our Dodge lock and hubs, right? So these come in and these are Ford hubs and right now I'm going to talk about machine work that we do on these hubs and that we've done for years and other people started offering this so uh, these Fords they have that factory 170 millimeter uh, pattern we have to drill those and to get these to fit a Dodge we have to give it the eight on six and a half pattern are you with me but we also have to get rid of the metric studs and we have to run standard studs. Dodge ran standard 9 16 by 18 all the way through 2011. So this is what we do all the time. And then, of course, we have to turn down the rotor register and the wheel register so that it fits uh, Dodge specs. So that's what we do all the time. Now, on the back side, these all run these needle bearings, and you can get rid of the needle bearings, and you can board out these backs, and you can install these bronze bushings. So, that's one thing that you can do. And then, of course, some people have begun changing out to these Dana 70 outers, 35 splines. These are made up, right, for the unit bearing hubs. So you have to bore this hub out front to back in order to run this 35 spline unit bearing shaft. Thirty-five spline unit bearing shaft. See there? There we are, without all the rubbers and shit. So that's so we can jam a thirty-five spline through here. We have to open it up just a little bit, but that's what we do all the time: is we bore hubs and change the bearings, just like over here. So give you an idea real quick so here we are uh, prepping some Chevrolet late model 2016 see unit bearing hubs these have been all machined to take the locker assembly these have been bored cage needle bearings have been installed in the front and the back and of course here we go. We've got our Dana 60 IFS shafts for our late model Chevrolet in 30 spline. So, you see that? This is the kind of stuff that we do all the time. So, you know, you want to make sure these are all hubs that needed to get their bolt holes changed. These are all hubs that needed to get their bolt holes changed for Dodge guys. So, you know, this is stuff. <clears throat> we do a couple of these before fucking breakfast. Just like when I was in the Army. We do more before 9 a.m. than most mofos do all day long. Ain't that the truth? So, a lot of upgrades for the unit bearing hub too. Bore these things out. The other thing is we've started doing is just like on this uh, GM. You see how trick this is? 
we run in them great big old cage needle bearings in the front and in the back to really stabilize that shaft. You with me? That's the other thing we've done for some hardcore off-road maniacs. So, we can run bearings in the front or bushings in the front and we can do the same in the back. You with me? Think about this. Yeah. You're never going to change that shit out again. So you can run bearings in the front or bushings and you can also run them in the back. And that's a max duty setup, but like I told you, the bronze bushings, they don't screw you over and they don't tear anything up. All they do is wear and wear and wear and wear and wear. But they don't tear up shafts because they're soft. And they don't tear up hubs because they're soft. And there you have it, my friends. Think about some bushed hubs. Give us a call if you need something done. And uh, we'll be glad to help you out. God bless you. God bless America. And happy trucking. Bye.